Good morning, everyone. Hey, it's Jason with Our Missouri Yard. Today is July, Sunday, July 28th, 2019. It's about 7 a.m. and it is a gorgeous 70 degrees outside. So this morning, I'm going to spray another tree. So I think it was last week, I treated our little red bud tree that we planted, I think it was last fall. Um, if you recall, it's, the front half is working out great. The back half is not doesn't have hardly any growth on it whatsoever, so I sprayed it with the floor green, the microgreen, and then I also did a soil drench of the RGS and Humic 12. And today, we have our pink dogwood tree up front. It, um, it's fully mature, so it's not one of those little one inch trees, so it's, it's fully mature. And over the spring, it got hit by a fungus, so, and it got pretty bad. Unfortunately, we didn't treat it right away, and it just spread and spread and spread. So. How I ended up treating it was I used a hose end sprayer to spray everything all over it. And then I also did a soil drench with another fungicide. And the thought with that was the spraying it would be an immediate effect and hit that right away. And then the soil drench would be absorbed in the ground and then slowly come up and reach up the tree and work more as a preventative. So we did an immediate effect and a preventative. A corrective, I guess you could say. A corrective and a preventative maintenance on that. Um, tree hasn't fully recovered so it is it does look a little sickly so I reached out to the guys at Green County Fertilizer and they helped me out again and gave me I'm gonna use a hose end sprayer my ortho hose end sprayer and they gave me they told me what I need to do so it's gonna be a combination of water in this hose end sprayer the ortho hose end sprayer it's gonna be a combination of water floor green microgreen and RGS so let me get that mixed up and then I'll show you the tree. All right, here's what we got again. <laughs> and you see the little blue there? <laughs> so yesterday I did a video, I'm starting a, um, a lawn renovation area. I'm doing about 1,100 square feet lawn renovation and I used the blue marking dye to mark the areas that I sprayed with the glyphosate. And yeah, I spilled a little. <laughs> so that is why, here, check this out. Look at that. <laughs> so that is why, um, Always use the board because yeah, that way you're not staining anything else. I think it did get a couple drips on the driveway. Well, there's a little drip on the driveway there. Hopefully that'll come out in a week or two, maybe. <laughs> if I'm lucky, it'll be a couple days. So, we've got the floor green, micro green, the RGS. I've dressed those in all the videos before. I'm going to be using the Ortho Dial of Spray hose end sprayer. I'm going to put 16 ounces of water into the hose end sprayer. Then I'm going to add eight ounces of the floor green, four ounces of the micro green, and two ounces of the RGS. Then I'm gonna put it in, onto the hose end sprayer, and I'm gonna set this to three. Let's do it now so I don't forget later. There, set it to three. All right, let me get met, met mixed up real quick, and I'll show you what we got. Floor green, oh, gotta get my other glove on. I don't put the gloves on because they're it's dangerous to get touch in contact with skin. These things are dark with the humic. I just don't want to get stained. Shake, shake, shake. And I tell you what, the floor green, it comes in a gallon bucket jug, I guess. But I'm only using, well, in this case, I'm only using eight ounces. I use very little of it, so it lasts a really long time. And that redbud tree, I think I did a quarter of an ounce is what I used on it. It's pretty crazy. My measuring jar, you call that? Measuring cup, only goes four ounces. So I'm gonna fill it up twice so I get the eight ounces of the 402. Already has 16 ounces of water in the sprayer. See how well I do with this. Yeah, it's built a little bit. Pretty good at that. Whoa! Let's build a little bit more. Okay. Now the micro green, you get four ounces of that. The 
micro, again, the micro green gives a lot of the micronutrients to it, which is the potash, the magnesium, sulfur, copper, iron, manganese, zinc, as well as the humic acid and cold water kelp. So I need four ounces of that. Finally, the RGS. The root growth stimulator is pretty much just the humic acid and the sea kelp. But this is the magic product for everything. We're going two ounces. So it's halfway, obviously. So I'm going to put these away, clean up my mess a little bit. I get a little bit on the driveway there, so i got to clean that up too. And measure my, my measure, measuring cup. I'll be right back. So here we are at the dogwood tree. You can see I'm downhill from it, so it looks even bigger than what it is. But you can see the leaves were damaged. It's from both the... Um, fungus and sunburnt because the dogwood trees are meant to be in mostly shade and this is now in full sun so it gets so it gets hurt pretty bad so we're going to see what we can do to help it out get over here to my hose and sprayer I've mentioned this in a few videos what I love doing so I have this valve that I put on the end of the hose. All right, right now it's in the off position. And then I have a quick connect. So the faucet is all the way through the side yard, around the back, all the way to the other side of the house. So what I can do is every time I'm done with the hose, I always put it back into lock mode and to turn it off, the valve off. So then I go there, turn the water on, walk, 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 all the way up here, bring it up here, and I don't have any water running. I'm not wasting any water because I got that on there. And the quick connect, I have that, I have that on all my sprinklers, the other end, and all my sprinklers and hose end sprayers. Whether Heather uses it for her nozzle when she's watering flowers, and in this case, I'm using it on my ortho hose end sprayer. And it works pretty simple. Just pull that thing back there, slide it on. I guess that's the collar. Works great. And then all I gotta do is turn the water on here. I don't know if you heard the water go in there. And now it's right, I'm ready to spray. Let me get to it. So I do wanna mention real quick, so there's the tree there I'm gonna hit right there. I'm gonna be hitting the leaves, all the leaves, the trunk, everything. I'm gonna spray and saturate every single part of that tree that I can. Um, yeah, might look weird in the camera because I've been looking at the tree instead of looking at the camera. Tree, camera, tree, camera. <laughs> hey, I'm an amateur at this. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray every leaf. I'm gonna coat it, coat it, coat it heavy and make sure I get the tree, the trunk, the branches, the leaves, everything. So enjoy. <laughs>
that's it. Um, <laughs> after I started spraying, I realized I need to go get my safety glasses because obviously what goes up must come down. And it was dripping all over me. I wish I would have had a hat. Probably been smarter, but who knows. Um, you know how I am about wearing my hat. I'm not very consistent with it, am I? <laughs> hey, at least the sun's not shining. It's early in the morning. So that's all I got. Um, we'll see how it works. Hopefully it'll uh, help the tree out quite a bit. And got there in the background right there. So, on behalf of Heather who takes care of the flowers, myself who take care of the lawn, once again, thank you for visiting our Missouri yard.